I'll be straight with you. I've been a bit of a noob and been doing something the hard way. Yep, using the online Microsoft MakeCode editor to download and then manually transfer the hex files across to the microbit. What does that equate to? Pain, frustration, and time that you will never ever see again. Solution? Post a YouTube video that mentions this and then have the community respond with an answer. Coming your way in just a moment. Hello world, Surfing Scratcher here, teacher, surfer, programmer, and on this channel, I make how-to coding videos. However, this week it's all been inspired by Pinky Pepper, who dropped a comment on last week's video about a pain point that I'd been experiencing with the online Microsoft Make Code Editor. Pinky Pepper is an online scratcher and YouTuber, and I'll link to them in the description below, and be sure to subscribe to them. So the offline editor is a space where you get to work offline with all your microbit projects. And that always makes me feel a little bit calmer for some reason. You're not bombarded with a bunch of pop-ups that confuse your students and downloading the hex file three or four times. In the offline editor, you can choose the microbit as a storage location directly, thus removing the step of need to transfer it manually. And just a heads up, I'm working with the Mac operating system here, but the steps should be very similar for Windows. Now, Pinky Pepper also mentions a little gotcha. If you're at a school, you might have a stumbling block of installing this onto the computer, so just be wary of that. All right, now I've got a little walkthrough of the steps that you can go through to download this directly onto the microbit. Let's do that now. First thing you'll wanna do is head over to the makecode.microbit.org forward slash offline URL so that you can go get the offline editor. Note at the time of this recording that the Makecode offline app is currently in development. So be sure to visit this page to check out the status of the offline app as not all extensions are available to it. When you're on this page, you wanna click on the Makecode offline app link. That'll take you to makecode.microbit.org forward slash offline dash app. Have a read through and accept the following terms. And once you do that, click the checkbox and download the offline app that is relevant to your operating system. I'm on Mac, so I'm gonna click that. Now zip file has downloaded, let's go find it. Okay, let's unzip it. Then just drag and drop the app into the applications folder. I've already got it installed, so I'm not gonna do that. Double click on your applications folder and find the Make Good for Microbit application and then double click to open it. If you've been working with the online editor, this should all look pretty familiar. I'm not gonna go over this. Let's just create a new project. And I'm just gonna name this offline download. And now for the bit that you came here for, and that really excites me. Press that save button. You're gonna be prompted with a dialog box. And if you check out your locations, you'll see that you can save directly to the micro bit there. So you don't have to do any transferring of files. Hurrah. And there's our confirmation. It is not ejected properly. Our app is now on the micro bit. Okay, I'm just back here on the online version of the MakeCode editor. I'm gonna click a project that I worked on a little while ago, the rock, paper, scissors. You can check a card in the top corner to check that out. And I'm gonna press the save button so I can save it to my computer. And notice how we don't get the dialog box, it's just gone directly to our downloads. So what I'm gonna do is jump over to the offline editor and import that, and then we'll get it on the micro bit. Here I am back in the offline editor. I'm gonna press import. I'm gonna import from a file. I'm going to choose a file. And let's choose the rock, paper, scissors hex that we just downloaded. Go ahead and open it. Now we're here in the project. I'm just going to press the save button. Going to save it directly onto the micro bit. Hit save. Let's wait for our confirmation. There's our confirmation. Now I'm just going to jump over to the micro bit and give it a shake. Cool, we just got some paper. Give it another shake. And there's our rock. And now we've got our scissors. Success. All right, it's time for a scratchy question. And I feel so inspired by last week's comment that I want you to drop in your tips that you have that you would like to share with our community down below in the comment section. Might even make a video about it. Hey, thanks for checking out this quick tip tutorial. Smash that like button if you found some value and check out some other content on your screen right now. Also got a link to Pinky Pepper's YouTube channel. Go suss that out. But until then, I'm off to go find a wave. I'll catch you in the next one.